Cinco de Mayo celebrations are happening as we speak. You may be celebrating right now, too. Lots of people are celebrating Mexico's victor, victory in the Battle of Puebla. San Jose police, though, are trying to make sure those celebrations don't get out of hand. Yeah, it's been problematic in the last several years, certain years. NBC's Robert Honda joins us now in downtown San Jose, where there is some celebrating and there is now legal cruising that's allowed. I see some of the lowriders behind you, Robert. Well, that's right. Uh, we have seen quite a car show here on Santa Clara Street in downtown San Jose. If you remember, the city repealed its old anti-cruising ordinance last summer and coupled with fewer worries about COVID, it's creating quite a festive atmosphere and police want to keep it that way. Cinco de Mayo brings out a lot of color throughout San Jose with plenty of pop-up merchandise stands, music, and decorated cars. Historically, San Jose draws big crowds for the holiday, and with it comes excitement and a little bit of caution. Yeah, it, everything's more open nowadays, and I just feel like it's going to be a better year, and hopefully it's not crazy out here, and we'll see what happens. A big change will be cruising is once again legal, which fits in with a lot of people's plans. Cruise around, cruise around, come out here with my friends, cruise around, kick back and check out the cars, the girls, and, you know, all the beautiful rides, beautiful women. Nice that San Jose doesn't allow outlaw cruising. Yeah, it's very nice. Some store owners we talked to say cruising will help keep things safe. They point out in the past, vandalism and attacks happened when crowds roamed the streets. These people that are in the lowriders, they take uh, get great pride in their vehicles, so I don't anticipate any trouble from them or anybody else. Police say it has added patrols and resources and will set up traffic and pedestrian diversions, especially downtown and some East San Jose neighborhoods. The idea is to reduce gridlock and disturbances that can escalate into violence as well as create clear access for emergency vehicles. But police emphasize some units will focus strictly on illegal sideshows and warn the consequences for participants, including observers, will be expensive. The ticket alone can go up to $1,000. There's always going to be a 30-day impound of that vehicle. That includes up to three to $4,000 in storage fees. We do live in a big city, and there is crime. So, you know, there is going to be crime, but I wouldn't uh, attribute to any single de mile celebrations. Well, certainly just about everyone we talked to hopes that's true. Now, the police say the street diversions, which will be supervised by officers, will start getting set up in less than an hour, about 7 p.m., and then will remain in effect until the early morning hours each night throughout the weekend. Live in San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Robert.